Good early morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. It is early for us to be out. Early. Um, but we're touring our pediatrician's office today. Look what's behind me. Sleepy baby number one. <laughs> I came out of a three hour meeting, three and a half hour meeting call to find these two girlies resting. I decided to take a total rest day today. Obviously, there was no vlog yesterday. I didn't think I'd sleep all day. That's restful though. But I feel good. <laughs> all right. It's just before five and Sarah and I have discussed we're not getting whatever. We're not getting whatever that is, but right over there is a Publix and it's Wednesday, which means they should have their sushi deal. So we're having sushi for dinner. So it's just started to rain and Eve looks over at me. She's got a bunch of little raindrops on her because we have had like the window cracked. She likes to like sniff outside. Whoa, goodbye. But she looked over at me like, hey, what's going on? Why am I getting rained on? Eve does not like the rain, um, so she probably is just getting comfy by the door. But Peter just went to Publix. Is it too loud with this rain? I decided yesterday to take... Okay, so yesterday we didn't film much. We binge-watched the last six episodes, which are like 45 minutes each, of the new show Utopia, which we had started and talked about before. Really good, weird to watch when you're experiencing a pandemic yourself. Um, more violent than we expected, um, not for kids. Um, but the storyline just wasn't what we expected either. Really good, we enjoyed it. But we barely filmed. And so towards the end of the night, I was like, why don't we just not even try to salvage a vlog that'll give me tomorrow like a full day off. So I didn't have a vlog to edit. I didn't do any freelance work. I didn't do any prep around the house. Like I was just like, I'm going to take today totally. I'm gonna to close this window real quick. Hopefully that's a little less loud. Um, and so typically on days where I decide to not do anything, I don't feel as guilty because it was like, I'm in control. It was my choice not to do anything. Um, but it just felt like, it was just one of those days where like, even though I didn't do anything, it felt like it went by really fast. Um, I enjoyed it, I slept a lot, I just chilled. We decided we we're gonna start Gilmore Girls again. Um, but just overall, like it kind of, it didn't maybe like scratch the itch I thought that I needed. So I do feel my anxiety kicking in a little bit like I didn't, enjoy it the way I should, even though it was a great off day. Um, I do have a decent to-do list for the end of the week. I know we have a good weekend coming up, so that is definitely helping. Um, but yeah, it was just, it's just kind of one of those days Peter kind of has a headache. And so that's why we decided, you know, like let's get some sushi, get a sweet treat. Um, and just take the time to be home tonight again, even though we, we stayed home last night. Um, this is just a little bit more intentional. We're gonna watch the debate, um, the vice presidential debate. But until then, I'm gonna give my puppy some lovin's. This little baby is being rambunctious in my tummy right now. Um, and just enjoy this, this more chill day. Look at how cute she is. Every sound she hears by the door, she thinks is Peter coming home. Well, this is an unfortunate sight to come out to with no umbrella. I did it. I got back to the car. And now I'm about to go drive to a gas station that I think has a Mountain Dew that Sarah really wants. So I'm gonna make this storm worth it. No big deal, just filling up the tank. It is still boring. Peter ventured far and wide 
for this voodoo. Mountain Dew Pitch Black does not exist anymore. It's on their website, but the store locator shows nowhere. Did you search? Yeah. And you can't even get it on Amazon, but I hear this tastes like Skittles. We got some sush. Sushi dance party. And we're gonna have these dumplings. These are vegan basil. Thai basil. Thai basil dumplings from Hot Publix. Stickers. And they're so good. They're I could so eat good. 50 of them. Oh my gosh. Apparently so. Could Eve! This is the first time I ever went to Ohana. Nice. This is one of my favorite pictures of my dad. Nice. Whoa! We fell asleep. I don't know, as you saw, Sarah had a sleepy day. And I felt like weird towards the end of work, like kind of had a headache. Still do. We had to Google where my spleen was, because our appendix, because I thought like, my appendix burst, I got this weird feeling in my side, right above my left hip. <sighs> Which, like, I don't have ovaries, so, like, I don't, I don't know what could hurt there. Anyway, I thought it was a good time. We are going to watch the Vice President's debate, so I just woke up saying, I was like, hey, it's 8.18, it's a good time to, like, get up and relax, maybe watch Casey Neistat's newest five-minute vlog, and just, like, hang out and, like, wake up before we, so we don't go straight from, like, being asleep to watching watching politics because like in, rea in reality like, politics isn't really fun but it's just like important to be aware so we're gonna eat a bunch of oreos and pumpkin delicate delicate decadent bars i want my book that's what i feel like right now <laughs> bonjour <laughs> je veux mon livre this is the book Art project HHN in house. Bonjour. <laughs> in honor of the vice presidential de debate tonight and the election coming up, we're going to watch Casey Neistat's vlog talking about him being a volunteer for President Obama in 2008. <laughs> debate is over. We're trying to put Gilmore Girls back on. I still have a headache. What's going on with the TV? It just broke. It just flashed green. I think it's the uh, Apple TV itself. <gasps> is our Apple TV breaking? It's our most valuable possession. <laughs> P.S. Sarah got me a an Apple TV second generation for Christmas one year. Literally changed our life. So following Christmas, she got me Apple TV 3. And now I've just been trying to find an excuse to purchase the four, the newest one. Because to me, I don't like we don't have like, a fancy 4K TV. So like, there's no reason for us to like update to the newest Apple TV. But I think our Apple TV just broke. So. I think it's just having a moment. Look at <laughs> Mrs. Nisbet. Uh, this go out is and the vote. Hair of somebody who um, has been sleeping a lot today. And our puppy is sleeping on the window. Yeah. So, register to vote. Go vote. Yeah, I think a lot of registrations for voting are over for a lot of different states. If you still have time, register. And please, we urge you. We urge you to vote. We urge you to vote. We'd like you to vote Joe Biden, the Biden-Harris ticket, but we just want you to vote. The more involved society is in their political system, the better the whole nation is. Um, in some countries, you get fines if you don't vote. Like, I don't know why America doesn't do that, because so many people don't vote. But we're going to put on Gilmore Girls. I The Apple TV is not broken. <laughs> it's not broken yet. I'm gonna break in the middle of the night though. We got really yummy pumpkin decadent bars from oh, Publix. I showed them. Okay. Did I show you? Um, they are so good. They're like a mixture of pumpkin pie, a blondie, and cheesecake. I already ate my four pieces. You did. I only had one. Downloading a new Super Mario's game. I'm about to set it up on the TV. We might be able to play it together online. Okay, so the Mario game was super cool. Not what I expected. Sarah and I won't be playing together on her. But I like how you can play other people at the same time. Like, it's like a performance competition. I dig it. And Sarah, it's midnight, and she just said, you know, McDonald's sounds good. Or a corn dog. Or a corn dog. But I don't think I get a corn dog at midnight. 
You got McDonald's in a minute. Can't get a corn dog. Evie just demanded bedtime. Got on the chair. <laughs> Put herself to sleep. Are you going to bed? It's one in the morning. Alrighty, time for the daily message is I'll actually do yesterday's too. The sixth. We're all lost. The best chance we got is to wander this life with the people who matter. Kristen Ashley. And today's, an arrow can only be shot by pulling it backward. So when life is dragging you back with difficulties, it means it's going to launch you into something great. So just focus and keep aiming. Anonymous. I like that daily message. I think, I was just thinking today, I saw something today that was like, if you have a bad day, like, let yourself have it. Like, I let myself have a relaxing day today. But just don't let it define how you feel. And to keep, like, pick back things up the next day. Or even, not even the next day. Like, just once you've had your moment. Um, and to keep on, keep on moving forward. Um, this month is Infant and Pregnancy Loss Awareness Month which is wild because it's also the month that we're welcoming James and it's also the anniversary of us losing Sweet Pea. And I know that has for sure been on my mind and is heavy. Um, another thing that's really heavy is that I'm already like worried about being pregnant again, which is like, I'm trying not to like let it take away from enjoying the pregnancy now and of course James when he is here but it is just such a funky thing that infertility kind of throws at you is that you don't know what's going to happen next um, and how you'll react and if you'll be able to get pregnant naturally to do treatments again and all of that um, and so you guys know that what we went through is a lot more common than people might have even realized and people are talking about a lot more. So, if you know somebody who has experienced this, be there for them this month and actually just be there for people in general because you don't know, sometimes people aren't vocal about going through this. So just always keep that in mind um, when you're interacting with people you love and people you don't love too because Sometimes questions just aren't necessary when it comes to that sort of stuff. Peter yeah, loves to watch the TV like this. <laughs> Are you ready for bed? Do you want to keep watching Gilmore Girls? I want to finish this episode because it's got four minutes and then we need to listen to our puppy. <laughs> She's so tired. Oh gosh, ready for beds? Evers? I don't know the last time we've been awake this late. And it's a Wednesday night. I know, and I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. We keep forgetting about it. Yeah. And Do you get an ultrasound tomorrow, or is that no. next week? Just to check up. Can we get an, a C-section scheduled? I know. We've been talking about this for three him? weeks. I'm still not, FYI, I'm still not allowed to come to these. No, he's never even met our doctor. Ever. Um, and we're just waiting on the hospital to approve the dates that he's thrown past them, which he said he's put the request in. Um, which I think it's been like two or three weeks now. No, I think two. Um, but the thing is, I'm 37 weeks today, and so if I'm going to have a C-section between 39 Gosh, and 40 weeks, so that's only two weeks away. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we got that. We got to get up early, and tomorrow is a new day. After all. <laughs> Day. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.